Welcome to the tutorial, Erasing Parts of a Drawing. In this tutorial, I'm going to clean up the front sketch of the cartoon rabbit to show you how to use the eraser tool. So to access the eraser tool, you can click on its icon in the Tools toolbar or use the keyboard shortcut Option-E on Mac or Alt-E in Windows. So while you're sketching, you can actually toggle between the brush and eraser tool by holding down the letter E. This will momentarily bring up the eraser tool and allow you to erase. When you release the letter E, you then go back to the brush tool. If you're using a Wacom or graphic tablet, you'll have access to pressure sensitivity with the eraser tool. Let's look at the properties of the eraser tool. So you might notice that the tool properties look identical to those of the brush tool. And that's because as you put down strokes and color with the brush tool, um, it gives it a more natural feel if your eraser brush has the exact same properties. It looks less jarring um, to have an even give and take of color and stroke um, by having the same properties between the eraser and the brush tools. So from the drop down list here, you can choose different presets for the eraser tool. Here you can decide on the minimum and maximum widths of the stroke. Here you have the smoothness and the uh, contour optimization. By increasing the smoothness, when you draw a um, eraser stroke, you'll notice that um, there was some movement in the eraser stroke and what the software is doing is taking the central vector line and making an average um, to sort of smooth out that stroke. What the contour optimization does is as you draw a stroke it's actually looking at the contour of your eraser stroke and trying to minimize the number of points around that contour thereby optimizing it. The last option that you have is the tip of the eraser brush. Um, like I mentioned before, it's often a good idea to have the same tip um, for your eraser as you do for the brush that you're using to make the sketch with. If you decide that you'd like to customize these properties um, for your eraser brush, you just need to click on the Add Brush button here. And a new brush, Brush 7 in this case, is created um, with any of the properties that you change. You can then rename this brush by clicking on the A icon here. And I'm going to name it my eraser. And then if you decide to delete this from the menu here, you simply need to select it and then click on the delete brush icon to delete it from the list. So I'm going to clean up a little bit of the sketch here so that when I do my actual cleanup, my clean drawing, um, I'll be able to hit the lines more precisely. Some people don't, uh, don't do this. They're able to see the lines that they want right away from uh, their messier sketch, but I like to do a little bit of a cleanup just so it's a, a bit more obvious.
So now we have the three views of a character, a prop, and a background ready to be cleaned, painted, and broken down. So that's it for the tutorial erasing parts of a drawing. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, Drawing Using the Pencil Tool, part of Tutorial Pack 3, Drawing, Tracing, and Cleaning.